Hi, welcome back to Sarah Daily, where we give you our best simple, actionable, reliable advice to help you grow and scale your small business. Today, we're talking about how to build a great team environment in your small business. And this is really important if you have a team because investing in a team is a huge step in a small business and you don't want to do it without some preparation and without some knowledge of these things because once you have the team on board, you want it's much harder to create a great environment than if you've planned for that ahead of time and are bringing people on in an environment that's already being cultivated. So here's a few tips we have on how to create great uh, environments for your team. The first thing is, this might be obvious, is to hire the right people. We've talked a lot about hiring on, in other episodes, um, but take your time hiring. You really want to know if you are hiring a specialist or a generalist in, in each role that you're hiring and make sure that you're looking for the right person and the, uh, the right quality or experience for that person in that role. Specialists being people that have really narrow specialized knowledge for a specific thing that can then be expanded versus a generalist who comes in to kind of be a jack of all trades in a bigger, in a bigger fashion and then maybe they can get narrowed down as your company grows. Either way, uh, look for quality, take your time, ask people to um, do trials or, or you know, 90 day trial periods. All the, there's lots of different ways to ensure that you're hiring the right people from the start and that you're taking your time to bring them on board. And the little uh, cliche statement, but it's very true, is to fire quickly. So hire slowly, fire quickly, make sure you have the right people on the bus from the start. That will really help with your environment. The second thing is to create great team culture and team spirit. So you do this um, by creating a sense of shared values, shared mission, um, making sure everybody feels like they're included and they belong, all the voices are heard, there's good leadership structure, good management structure. Uh, really take the time as you're growing your team to cultivate that, that uh, environment and a sense of belonging and community with your team. And then the third thing is a little bit more tactical a little bit more businessy, but I believe this is one of the most important things in having a great team environment is really clearly defining roles and goals. So make sure that each person's role is really clear to them, what they're responsible for and what they're not, and the goals of their role are really um, are really clear to them. So what are what are you measuring, and what are the milestones that they need to hit in order for it to to be success both for you and to them? Make sure that stuff is really clear when people have. Um, the right people on the bus and a great sense of community in the team and they have clear roles and goals, you will have cultivated or done as much as you can to cultivate a really positive team environment. Thanks for watching. For more tips like this, check out the community, our online membership site for women who own small businesses. We would love to help you grow and scale and we hope to see you soon.